it's a film that has so many unique images, so many things you've never seen before in this movie, time after time. And I was so struck by the detail of everything. Christopher Nolan heaped praise upon his buddy, Denis Villeneuve's Doom 2, during a conversation between the two directors that an audience got to hear. Now, other early reaction has compared Denis' sequel to Nolan's second Batman movie, The Dark Knight. If Christopher made that comparison, I don't know if it would come off as well <laughs> for him. <laughs> oh, your Doom 2 is almost as good as my Dark Knight. <laughs> so no, Christopher made a comparison to another second installment that also upped its game, so to speak. For me, I don't think it's saying too much to say that, you know, if Dune Part 1 was Star Wars, this to me was very much The Empire Strikes Back, which is my favorite of the Star Wars films. And I just think it's an incredibly exciting expansion <laughs> of all the things you introduced in the first one. Denis was a little taken aback to have his film mentioned in the same breath as that sci-fi classic. I have to say to you, Chris, that is a massive compliment. <laughs> I, I'm still... Uh, 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 the Empire Strikes Back was probably one of the most intense uh, 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 screening experience of my life. Uh, I, I was like uh, 11 years old or something like that. And I, I, uh, at the time, you were going watching movies and you could... Uh, uh, watch the movies back to back in the, the theater yeah, owner yeah. Were, we were going to making 25 kilometers in bicycles to see the movie so the theater owner was like let us all the afternoon watching the movie over and over again <laughs> and, and, and uh, it's a movie that has had a tremendous impact on me and uh, uh, it's again uh, to this day by far uh, the, the best uh, Star Wars movie for me and, and uh, I'm pleased to know that you love the uh, Empire Strikes Back as well. <laughs> <laughs> What's interesting is that Dune 2 was actually originally scheduled to come out in November 2023 and it was moved to March 2024 amid the SAG strike. Since Dune won six Oscars in 2022, it's probable that Christopher's Oppenheimer might not be feeling so comfortable as the frontrunner for Best Picture and Best Director. <laughs> it Denise sequel had dropped in time for consideration this year. So yeah, that's huge praise from Nolan and from others. Now, I know I'm in the minority, but oh, Dune, that first Dune, oh, so long. I went with a friend of mine to go see it in theaters. I didn't realize I was having one of those simultaneous streaming releases as well. So we went to go see it in theaters, go see it on the big screen. Oh, I thought that movie, I think there's about five different scenes that I thought the movie was ending. I thought, oh yeah, this is definitely the last scene for sure. Oh no, it's still going. Okay, this is going to, yeah, this is going to be the final moment. They'll end on this. No, it's still going. It got to the point that I was literally speaking fairly loudly going, end, please end. <laughs> so yeah, it was a beautiful film, don't get me wrong. Um, yeah, amazing technical achievement, but oh my god, it was so long. Um, I know, yeah, apparently the first one is like set up for the amazing second one. There's going to be so much more action or whatever. Um, I don't know if I can bring myself to see the second one in theaters. I don't think it's going to happen. And once again, I know I'm in the minority here. Like, yeah, people love it. Are you pumped for Dune 2 finally hitting theaters in a month? Now, I know it's kind of ridiculous to talk about the Oscars when a film hasn't even come out yet. But let's say Dune 2 lives up to the hype that is starting to build. Do you think it'll be remembered? Like almost, not a year later for nominations. I guess it'll probably be about, uh, yeah, it'll be like nine months later that nominations would come out for the Oscars 2025 do you think it'll be remembered that long it's quite a length to overcome there's not many movies that manage to do that but yeah what do you think